Guys, we're back here with Kim Hutchinson and Catherine Hungerford, and you guys are here to talk about the Giving Tree. And of course, uh, Missoula Agent Service, if you don't already know, there are monthly guests coming on to Wake Up Missoula, and I'm glad you can join me here today. So, um, can you tell people uh, what is Missoula Agent Services and uh, what is the Giving Tree? Yeah, um, you know, we're so thankful to be here. So, thank you for having us this um, day. We're just really glad to be here. Um, Missoula Aging Services is a uh, organization here in Missoula and um, we serve Missoula County. Our mission of course is to promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults and those that serve, that care for those, that care for them. And so um, we serve over 34,000 wow. people a year and we're honored to do that. We don't do that by ourselves. We have um, wonderful support from the community organizations like yours, you know, to help us get the word out. And this time of year, we're doing a lot of interaction with the community. So right now we do have our community um, giving trees out and about. Yeah. And Missoula definitely does have a, a large aging population or the golden golden oldies for sure um, in Missoula and you guys do a lot of work with the elderly as well but of course this giving tree is to help kind of support all your services at Missoula Agent Services as well so let's talk about a little bit more about uh, um, giving trees mm -hmm. yeah so giving trees are they're simply festive holiday trees or Christmas trees um, but instead of the traditional ornaments um, they have tags on them do you want to hold this yeah. up? Yeah. So um, anyone in the community can visit the locations and pick a tag and a dollar amount will support a specific program. So like $20 to provide a grocery card to an older adult or $12 provides one hour of homemaking services um, or $100 can provide 40 hours of mentoring through our foster grandparent program. Mm -hmm. So we have, um, they're all around town at specific locations um, and it's just a really good way for the public to interact with um, what we do and to make a, a definite difference. Cool. And this is, I'm just throwing up your website right here and of course this is uh, MissoulaAsianServices.org and if people click on the very tab at the very top it'll send you directly to the Giving Tree stuff as well and you can also donate online. Can you um, kind of maybe even circumna help me circumnavigate this? Sure, it's a easy thing to do. Um, if you do go to our website and um, click on that banner up at the very top, it's red and bright and festive, and it says click here, so you can do that. Um, and that will take you right to the page that uh, talks about the giving trees. And then within that, there's um, some links that you can click and um, you know, learn a little bit more about Share the Love. And um, it's just a simple way to to streamline it. Yeah. 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 All right. So, um, and how long has the Giving Tree been around? Oh, gosh. I think this was probably the fifth year. Yeah. So, I think mm -hmm. it's the fifth year. It started before either Kimmer and I were even there. Yeah. So, it's been a tradition in the community for a little while. Um, we're thankful for the different spots that do have the trees. Um, MSO Hub, right on Higgins, mm -hmm. has us right in the window. So, we're so grateful for that location, especially. Um, Subaru of Missoula has a giving tree right on their showroom floor so when you drive down uh, Orange Street you can see that mm -hmm. giving tree right in the window all bright and festive and um, yeah it's just a fun way for people to come in you know take a tr you know whatever tag suits you know what they would like to do and um, they can eat the candy cane put a gift in the envelope pop it in the mail and it's just that simple cool well is there anything else you guys want to say anything else that I didn't touch upon well, uh, we, we were thinking about how giving trees are such a great idea for a family project. Like if, mm -hmm. you, if you also wanted to, to teach kids about philanthropy early and um, especially this time of year, it's a, a really, really cool project to do. There's a, a tree at the library, which makes that really easy. Um, and all sorts of places around town, uh, Taco Sano on the south side. Um, the community and planning services office, the county administration office. So even if you're out running errands, you can still um, easily find a tree and, and select a tag. Yeah, and of course we have one of our Missoula Aging Services yeah. offices at 337 um, Stevens Avenue, and you can also stop in there and just hang, you know, hang out with us a little bit, get to know us, and um, ask for Catherine or Kim. We'd be happy to give a tour. Um, people can drop by their tags, you know, back to us there at all. Awesome. Oh, great. Um, and one more uh, plug, uh, where can people find and where can people call and go to to find more information? 
Mm -hmm. Our website's easily accessible, missoulaagingservices.org. Uh, of course, our phone number is 728-7682. And, um, you know, we always have a real person answering our phones, so you won't get into a system or you won't have to push three or two or ten or whatever. <laughs> you um, actually talk to a real person every time you call. So, yeah. Well, yeah, thanks, for, thanks guys, for joining me. Yeah. Thank um, you. And, of course, you can go to uh, many locations, MSO Hub, Super of Missoula, Missoula um, County uh, Administration Office, and many, many more places about, and, of course, always look for the uh, um, the candy canes yeah. with the numbers. <laughs> and you Thank can't you. miss them. Thanks. So thanks, guys.